Okay, so this painting, the sealer is finally dry. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I flooded my canvas with my Artist Loft White with Floetrol and water. And here are the colors we're gonna be using tonight. First we have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Next we have Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. Next, we're going to use the Apple Barrel Cloudless from Walmart. Then I've got Liquitech Basic Prism Violet. Then I'm going to put in some of the Deco Art Peacock Pearl, because that is in many of the paintings lately and it's beautiful. Then I've got Artist Lock Metallic Purple. And last, or not last, then I've got Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine. And then I'm also using a um, Deep Violet that I had left over from a previous pour. So, um, I think I have them in the order I want, but I may, I may swap that out. And then I'm going to throw in some white, because I do like the white. So let me get the bubbles popped. And then we'll get started. Tonight. Well, looks like we got a little, little yucky in there. Okay. Um, remember before you start painting. Make sure that you're level or that you level the canvas here, 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 here. And if I'm doing a large canvas, I also do it in the center. I've had a few canvases that I've had to actually prop up the middle of. All right. So tonight's design, I'm just filling in a couple bare spots I saw. There we go. Um, I think tonight's design, I'm going to do from the upper left hand corner down to the bottom and then across again. I really like that design. And then I might do a little embellishment up here just to bring it all together. So let's start out. And um, I love the turquoise and purples. I almost think I should have a magenta in here too. But let's just start with these and see what happens. So we go up here. Come down there. Just gonna put a drizzle of the light purple. And again, Apple Barrel Cloudless is one of the two blues that I use a lot. Um, they're from Walmart, they're 50 cents a bottle but I really like the color. I like the accent that it gives. So um, I'm gonna continue to use them until I have an issue with them. Oh, I don't want fast. Okay, here's, ooh. That is our prism violet. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the peacock pearl. I love this color. I'm gonna start that one up there. Move it there. Okay. And then now I think I'm going to put um, some of this darker purple in because I really do want this dark purple in there. Um, I have cups, so I'm going to have to be really careful not to overdo it. Squeeze 
petals definitely work better, but this is leftover paint, so I like to add it into my other, in with my other colors. Okay, then next we're going to add a little bit of the metallic purple. Oopsie. That one went everywhere. And then we have the um, Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine. And if you saw my last video of the ocean one, ocean green picture, we used a lot of these colors in that as well. Not so much purple. Okay, then, as always, I'm going to add a little bit of my Artist Love Titanium White. And on my last video, I did use the new piece on my um, dryer, my hair dryer that my husband had made on his 3D printer. And it seemed to work pretty well, so I'm gonna use that again. And I'm gonna use it on the hair dryer that I'm able to control the power on. So let's blow this out and see what happens. before it blew, but I'm getting some really cool cells from all the metallics. I'm just going to hit this one more time. Off this side. There. Oh, I like this. It almost looks like a wave. Um, in blues and purples. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Um, there's cells popping everywhere from the metallics. The turquoise and the purple have mixed together beautifully. It's just really cool. Okay, I'm going to pop the bubbles because like I said, I didn't pop them first, which I probably should have, but since it's bringing out the cells, let's see what else we can find. Oh yeah. for a reason. Um, let me fix my sides and then I will bring you in and I might fiddle a little bit but I'll um, I'll bring you in for a close-up in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay I'm back. I did blow this out just to make sure that I could get my sides all covered. There's a few bare spots on the edge. So I do it out a little bit more just to cover all those and then to cover this corner and then I decided to blow a little bit over here because I really like the wisp that occurred um, after I blew it out. So as you can see I've got my sides all covered. There's my little extra white paint bottle, paint bottle that I keep and here is the painting. It's so pretty. Look at all the cells. That's what I love about the metallics. You get lots of cells in the color, especially the purples and the turquoise. They mix with each other and make these incredible little creatures in the painting. And I really like that. And you get some really nice dark purple down here. It's just gorgeous. So what we'll do is I'm sure in this white there's so much color underneath there that's starting to pop through and I might torch it a little bit more just to see what I can get out of there but other than that here is the whole painting it is just beautiful and when it's all dry I will show you the dry results so we're gonna let this painting dry and then I'll seal it and it'll be on my website and if you're interested in this picture, you can um, head to my website 
or you can um, contact me via email and all that information will be at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.